so this is Girard Street. Technically, the hotel is on Girard Street, which can be confusing because there's not a real entrance here, a bit of just a drop off. So I recommend going into Bay Street because Bay Street has that big open area. Um, this is the parking, so it's a really quick underground parking. Be, be careful, it's pretty tight and narrow, but there's tons of restaurants around as you can see. And then here is the hotel, it's gigantic actually. Don't forget to check out the rooftop bar. Just exiting the hotel parking, you can see this is uh, kind of tricky. Basically this is the front. Um, the front area. It's a beautiful like Las Vegas style. Definitely get on, come on through the back, which is off, um, you can see there's a nice check in here. You can definitely park your car here. They're not gonna rush you or anything like that. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on the street and I will post it below as to which street I suggest you coming off of. Um, there's a lot of construction here, so just be careful. Uh, but don't don't if you have a car with bags, don't come in off of Gerard, uh, which is the technical Gerard address. Come in off of drive in off of uh, there we go, Bay Street, because Bay Street will give you this little driveway and access to some room to park your car and to get your bags out. Okay. So there are a lot of different wings. This is a giant hotel. We're in room six fifty seven. Let's take a look. Let's start with the bathroom. Yeah, ignore those strange noises of a baby crying. This is the bathroom. You may see some reviews on TripAdvisor saying that the hotel needs a little bit of renovations. I can kind of see this is where they would probably meet. And, you know, the hotel bathroom, at least this one, is still like the old school tile and the old tub and, and whatever, but it's clean and it beats paying, you know, 500 bucks a night somewhere else. So it's spacious, clean. They have your accoutrements here, as you may know them as, a hair dryer. And yes, they have the all important safe. And the safe's always really important to me because, you know, you're usually carrying your passport and and money and stuff like that so let's take a look again this is the deluxe room so what does that mean it means you pay, I paid a little bit extra to have about I think 15 extra square feet um, it is the night I'm gonna try to do this review again in the daytime uh, unfortunately maybe this is one critique let's take a look so when you walk in there's one light up here, but there's no central lighting switch for the rest of the room, which is interesting. Sorry, I'm doing this review with the baby and a lot of things going on, but that is unfortunately, or fortunately, my life right now. Uh, so it's like we got the king size bed. It's actually a decent space. I don't feel cluttered or cramped, even though we have like two big suitcases. You have your TV. Um, it does come with a coffee maker and some coffee and tea. Ignore all those bottles. That's the baby trying to dial front desk. Um, yeah. Yay! So let's try to turn the lights on in this place. Okay, so that light doesn't work. Let's try this light. <laughs> See if this one works. That one works. That's good. That's a good sign. Um, here's our view. Actually, I'll show you the daytime view tomorrow, time permitting. It's busy. It's been a really hectic trip. Um, so you can see those glowing lights. That's a strip club known as Zanzibar. Oh, the camera is not working with me tonight. Uh, usually, focuses are focal lengths are focuses are different and difficult late at night. Uh, but just trust me, this is Young Street that we're overlooking, um, and there's Ryerson University, and I'm very tired. So that's kind of it. Uh, it's nice, crisp air conditioning, and this is kind of like a a brief look of the room. So I'm going to try to do this tomorrow when there's a little less clutter and noise. 
And if I don't, well, this is what the room looks like. All right. All right, so one thing, there is a deck and fitness area with a pool. Um, there's a club lounge up here too. This is at the top of the hotel, 25th to 27th floor. Um, let me take a quick look at it. So here's the often underutilized beautiful view of downtown for the cool pool area. This is right at the top of the hotel, so you have this magnificent view. It's really nice. You have a view of the CN Tower. Little fitness center. Nobody's using it, which is cool, so you have a whole thing to yourself. Nice little patio door. So as you can see, there's a pool over here. And so yeah, that's up here on the 25th to 27th floor. Definitely worth it.